the ingredients that we are going to be needing for this palm oil rice. So we have our rice there, we have our palm oil, which is the ogakpatakpata of this food. So we have our fish and we have our meat there and we have our two onion and we have our yellow bell pepper, garlic and ginger and these are all the spices that I'm going to be using that is a uh, red um, bell pepper the fresh one this is the fresh one this is the dry one right so this is turmeric this is a um, uh, vegetable uh, I miss uh, spices, um, cinnamon powder, rice spices, salt, and mangan cube, and that is um, no and star mangan. So that is what I will be using, and I have my black pepper there, and I have my curry powder, my thyme, my cinnamon powder. That is what we will be using for this recipe, and I have my fresh turmeric so i will be adding that as well and i have my meat stock here already so what i will be doing now i will be cutting my meat and i will be peeling this back off so this fish has this back you have to take your knife and peel it off even you can see the way i'm doing now you can see that is becoming different and beautiful so this is it you have to remove all these things with your knife so if you buy this kind of fish don't put it in your food just like that you have to scrape the back away it's very important guys so i'm going to cut them and i'm going to be adding this very meat to the one i have in pot already and spicing it up so once that is done in, i will be adding my water this is hot water i will be adding it to my rice so that it can be there and be resting for some time so what i will just do i will just use my spoon to mix it up together so it does not have to go anyways so when that is done just cover it up grab your plate or whatever you have cover it up just like so so now i will be cutting my meat like i said before let's get done on this video or rather <laughs> let's continue cooking so now i have separated the meat from the water so this was the meat that was inside before i've removed it so now i will add the fresh meat one uh, slice already so this one is very hard so just put it like so so this one can done at least for some time that is done 
I will wash my rice as well. So this is how you will know that your rice is ready to wash. Now you can see the color has changed. So those, these are the dirty water. So we'll just wash it and make it very, very clean, guys. So guys, I will be adding two egg as well, so it can boil together. So that our food will be complete package. <laughs> fire again so i will just allow it uh, to dry so i can fry my fish so the only thing i want to fry uh, to fry here guys is just the fish so i will allow it to dry and i will pull my granite oil so i have added some granite oil to the pot so what i will do now will be adding salt on top of the fish Wow. 
our meat stock that we used to boil the meat earlier, right? And this was the meat I have separated already from the meat stock. And this is what we have here. What do I do next? I will have all the ingredients I showed you earlier. Part of it was used to boil the meat and the remaining one we pour everything in. Just like so guys.
water has dried off, but it's not dried completely. So we have to allow it to and I will just wash it with it and it's good to go and this is our preparation so guys it's very yummy it's very beautiful good job I can't wait to eat this guys I can't wait to eat I can't wait to eat guys Bye-bye.